Alright, what's up guys? So, WrestleMania has uploaded a video titled The End of Vince McMahon. You know, the thing is, is this, alright? Because I know people have probably asked, like, how do I personally feel about this whole situation? I will say, and it, I think it goes, like, for, you know, any, like, body in the wrestling community where they've done something crazy, but, you know, you can't really take away what they, like, I guess, did for the industry... Yeah, Vince McMahon, you know, he, he did some questionable things. I think that's one thing for sure. You know, he, he has done some questionable things in the WWE. But at the same time, I feel that he also did pave the way. That's something that you just can't take away from that, man. He paved it. The way that he paved it, you know, yeah, there was at some points where he might have did some good things. But there was other times where I'm like... You kind of cheated the system, you know. You you kind of put some people in some in some situations where it's like, bro, you know, you shouldn't have done that and stuff. I wonder though, is this karma making its way to him after you know, like when that whole like surge of wrestlers where he was just getting rid of all these different wrestlers and it's like, bro. And then it's funny how some of them done came back or they went to other um brands and made a name for themselves, but. Yeah, it's just, it's it's crazy, you know, just all this stuff that's happening. But, yeah, it's like, if it's karma making its way around, you brought it on yourself. So, but anyways, if you guys haven't, make sure you go subscribe to WrestleMania for more videos like this. And then that being said... It's the end for Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon and former WWE executive John Laurinaitis are being sued for sex trafficking and the WWE for negligence. We'll take a look at everything we know so far based on a Wall Street Journal article and court documents. Now, please keep in mind that some of the details of this story are incredibly graphic and may trigger survivors of sexual assault or harassment. Also, bear in mind that these are allegations and should not be construed as proof of anything. Nevertheless, it paints Vince McMahon in a horrible light, and this could truly be the end of him. First, let's look at the summary of the allegations. This new lawsuit follows a 2020 hush money scandal where McMahon allegedly paid off several females to sign NDAs relating to various affairs. This lawsuit is being filed by Janelle Grant, one of the individuals who signed an NDA agreement in 2022. Here's a summary from the 25th January edition of the Wall Street Journal. Janelle Grant, a former employee at the wrestling firm's headquarters, said in a lawsuit filed Thursday that she was abused and sexually exploited by McMahon while he was chief executive. She alleged that McMahon lured her with promises of career advancement and then he allegedly exploited her and trafficked her to other men inside the company. The complaint filed against McMahon, Laurinaitis and WWE contains detailed allegations. The complainant alleges that McMahon and Laurinaitis engaged in coercive behavior, including physical and sexual assault, resulting in physical and emotional damage to Ms. Grant. In addition, the complainant alleges that some WWE executives and employees were fully aware of the behavior directed at Ms. Grant and did nothing to remedy this situation. The Wall Street Journal report states, Grant signed an NDA agreement in 2022 in which McMahon agreed to pay $3 million ago, for her to not discuss their relationship or to disparage him. The WWE received an anonymous tip in 2022 about the relationship and started a board investigation which uncovered other payments by the CEO to women. Grant's lawsuit said that McMahon stopped making payments under the 2022 deal after initial $1 million installment. The suit seeks to avoid the agreement and unspecified financial damages. While an individual it's is crazy. normally restricted from breaking an NDA agreement, Ms. Grant is arguing in the complaint that several aspects of the NDA voided as well as federal, state and common law. Other reasons given include that the NDA was obtained through coercion, that Ms. Grant was not allowed to rely on an independent attorney and that the NDA violates the Speaks Out Act. The Speaks Out Act is a federal law which prevents the enforcement of non-disclosure agreements in instances of sexual assault and harassment a pattern of coerced acts and other abusive behavior. The complaint alleges numerous instances of coerced behavior by Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis. There are many allegations, but the majority of them are too graphic to go into any detail here. A here are two as reported by the journal article. She, Ms. Grant, alleged that McMahon and another WWE executive locked her in an office in WWE's headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut on June 15, 2021, and took turns sexually assaulting her while other staff were working. Wow. A second incident is described as follows. In the middle of another workday on June 23, 2021, McMahon locked Grant in his private locker room at WWE's offices and forced himself on her over a massage table, the suit said. Later that day, McMahon's personal assistant delivered $15,000 in Bloomingdale's gift cards to Grant in her office. 
of the rally that's games, crazy that is that's just man that's one of those things where it's like you have to understand maybe you could have gotten away with stuff like this like years ago when you know you know like people didn't really i guess talk about it but yeah in this day and age i'm like you doing stuff like that I, it's allegations but at the if man i'm telling you if this stuff is true yeah, it's like, bro, what, what did you expect? Like, you gonna get caught up with stuff like this, bro. Like, not, you can't get away with stuff like this, not in this day and age. Playing it into taking Just can't. And videos of herself. On occasion, McMahon allegedly shared images and explicit videos with WWE employees, including WWE employees, unnamed executives, and stars, and directed her to have sex with him. In addition, McMahon allegedly sent texts telling Miss Grant that other individuals in the WWE wanted to have carnal relations with her. According to the complainant, Miss Grant repeatedly expressed her unwillingness to give in to the lewd request made by McMahon and Laurinaitis. The complaint also includes examples of various texts sent to Miss Grant, telling her multiple partners would take her and they would do whatever they wanted with her. These text messages are way too graphic for YouTube, but I'll leave the full case filings in the description below. That's crazy. Allegations of fraud and coercion. One of the key allegations in the complainant is that Miss Grant was unable to consent to the carnal acts demanded of her, which made it abuse and assault. For example, two parts of the complaint noted, McMahon and Laurinaitis were well aware that a job at WWE and advancement and protections outlined above were of significant value to the plaintiff and used that against her. As a result, McMahon and Laurinaitis were able to force, defraud, or coerce Miss Grant into continued sexual activity because of the promises of job placement, job security, and advancement with the WWE and personal protections outlined above. And based on that, Miss Grant was employed at WWE from 2019 to 2022 when she left the company after signing an NDA. Hmm. Now, the promises of a job placement, job security play a big part in this case as Miss Grant alleged that her parents had recently passed away and being in such a vulnerable state and financially in compromised position, the lure of job promises and job security played a huge part in her taking on the job. But who is the wrestler mentioned in the complaint? The complaint also yeah, alleges Brock that Vince Lesner. McMahon was ready to entice a wrestler into signing a new deal with the company by having Miss Grant sleep with said wrestler. In March of 2020, McMahon began sharing sexually explicit photographs and videos of Miss Grant, including pornographic content he recorded with other men both inside and outside the company, including with members of the television production tech team, executives, producers, and a world-famous athlete and former UFC heavyweight champion with whom WWE was actively trying to sign a new contract and ultimately did sign that contract. The Wall Street Journal article reported on the wrestler's possible identity as people familiar with the matter identify the wrestler as Brock Lesnar, one of the WWE's biggest names. Lesnar did not immediately respond Thursday to the request for a comment. A said wrestler is not actually named in the lawsuit. But the fact that it says a former UFC heavyweight champion and Brock Lesnar returned around SummerSlam 2021, it seems quite obvious as to who they're referring to. What makes it even worse is a report from Fightful Select which reports that Brock Lesnar was actually scheduled to return to WWE TV and was supposedly entering the Rumble, but it was noted to Fightful on Thursday that in light of Lesnar's implied inclusion in the Vince McMahon lawsuit, that may now change. But will this affect McMahon's status in TKO Holdings? Oh yeah. And one question sure to be raised is oh, how the lawsuit yeah. will affect McMahon's status at TKO Holdings. McMahon, who is 78, is a current executive chairman of TKO Holdings and the company created following the merger of Endeavor and the WWE Prior to the merger, McMahon maintained controlling shares in the WWE, but that is no longer the case. McMahon's 2022 hush money scandal continues to haunt him. McMahon is under investigation by the federal government. TKL Holdings noted in a statement filed in September 2023 that it is aware that McMahon's presence on the board of directors makes him a potential liability. McMahon's membership on our board could expose us to negative publicity and or have other financial and operational impacts on our business. His membership may also result in additional scrutiny or otherwise exacerbate the other risks described herein. Any of these outcomes could directly or indirectly have adverse financial and operational impacts on our business. McMahon's future at TKR Holdings may be affected by a reported clause in his contract signed in March 2023 before the WWE merged with Endeavor. According to The Hollywood Reporter, McMahon, it should be noted, signed a new contract with the WWE on March 29th. According to a copy viewed by THR, McMahon's continued employment shall be conditioned on compliance with the company's conflict of interest and code of conduct, as well as its equal opportunity and non-harassment policy, among other terms. It's unknown whether past behavior, which at this point is only being alleged, would trigger this cause. 
However, it's likely McMahon would have to step down during any lawsuit. So will he face criminal charges? If there is substantial evidence to support any of these allegations against McMahon, he could face criminal charges. If a criminal prosecutor, either at the state or federal level, depending on any potential charges, decides to charge McMahon, the criminal case would take precedent over the civil case. However, there may not be enough evidence to pursue McMahon in criminal court, again, depending on any evidence regarding the allegations. The level of proof for obtaining a criminal conviction is noticeably higher for a criminal case than it is a civil case. However, McMahon maintains his innocence in this lawsuit. A spokesperson for Vince McMahon has responded to the recent lawsuit and allegations made against him. This lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene made-up instances that never occurred, and a vindictive distortion of the truth. He will vigorously defend himself. A spokesperson for TKO Holdings Group also said in a statement, Mr. McMahon does not control TKO, nor does he oversee the day-to-day -day operations at WWE. While this matter predates our TKO executive team's tenure at the company, we take Ms. Grant's horrific allegations very seriously and are addressing this matter internally. So, what are the real consequences WWE could face? Now, there are serious allegations being made against the WWE, with the complainant alleging that WWE executives were fully aware of the coercive behavior alleging directed against Ms. Grant by Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis, yet failed to take any action to stop it. The lawsuit also alleges that WWE's investigation to McMahon's conduct involving NDAs and alleged conduct was a sham. In November 2022, WWE touted the conclusion of the special committee investigation into the misconduct, yet the special committee never even bothered to interview Ms. Grant or request any documents, despite Ms. Grant stating that she would cooperate. In hmm. SEC filings, the company tried to divert attention away from McMahon's abuse of women by focusing on the technical issue of how hush money was accounted for. In the words of the company, the issue was immaterial accounting errors related to certain payments that Mr. McMahon agreed to make during the period from 2006 through to 2022. In addition, it's like, why is it that people? Because that's just the stuff that confuses me. Where it's like, again, saying what I said before, it's like you have to understand at some point in time, like you are gonna get caught. But it's like. Why put the business, you know, in jeopardy like that? Because it could have been a situation where it's like, okay, let's say if a lot of these, you know, allegations, like, like if there was all these different employees came out and said all these, you know, different or put out all these different allegations against Vince McMahon, and they're all like, this is this has been going on throughout the years, and it's probably going on now, bro. It's like WWE could have been shut down. Like that's the that's the crazy thing about it, where it's like it could have been a situation where it's like. We don't see no Raws, we don't see no NXTs, no SmackDowns, no pay-per-views, no nothing. It is, yeah, that's just, it's something where it's like, bruh, like, if you got a business, don't ruin it, you know, because of your own greed. It's like, you gotta treat the business with respect. Now, I just feel that that goes for the business itself and the employees that, you know, get hired on to work at this business. Complain and alleges that WWE's management was fully aware of McMahon's alleged misconduct. As detailed herein, WWE employees, executives, and board members were aware of McMahon's exploitives involving plaintiff. Some hmm. were told, some were shown exploitative pictures, some witnessed unusual and overtly sexual behaviors by McMahon and or Laurinaitis, and others could not help but hear what was going on through the walls of WWE's headquarters. If it That's crazy. sustained the WWE knew about the allegations, substantial damages might be obtained. Of course, we'll continue following this story and we'll have updates on our website. What do you think of these allegations? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content. That would be wild if, uh, like, just overall wrestlers, if they came out and then they started even talking about this, like, you know, like, former wrestlers where it's like, okay, I know I'm never going to work for WWE again. I'm in bad with all those guys, like... And then they'd start coming out and saying some things. Yeah, it, it's going to be crazy to see how all this stuff falls out with uh, WWE and Vince McMahon. But yeah, like I said, it's like people, you got to start treating your business with some respect, you know. And if you out doing stuff like this, stop, of course. But yeah, if, it, if it's a situation where it's like your business shuts down because of your own greed, you can't be mad at anybody besides yourself. So yeah, it's just it's one of those things where it's like people gotta understand that stuff but yeah it, it's just wild to see this you know like i've i've like i grew up watching wwe i still watch wwe to this day and it's just crazy to think like this is what's happening with it right well i mean not wwe but you know with some people that work for wwe talking on vince mcmahon 
Yeah, it's just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy to see all this stuff. It, you know, it's and then it's just crazy to think, like, we're only in the beginning of the year. We don't know exactly what new information is going to come out and stuff, but let's see, you know. But anyways, guys, if you haven't, make sure you go subscribe to WrestleMania for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me, too. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.